NerdRotic.com. Welcome back to NerdRotic. My name is Gary Beekler, and I come to you from NerdRotic.com. And once again, we need to talk about Star Trek Discovery. Now, one thing I like to do here is read between the lines, because we're not getting any truth from the access media. But recently, Anson Mount, our own Captain Pike from Star Trek Discovery, was giving an interview at a convention in Philadelphia this past weekend to fives and tens of people. And he talked about shooting a little bit on Star Trek Discovery. And by all accounts, it sounds like a miserable experience. He talks about an eight-month shoot for season two. No wonder why it went over budget. The first episode alone took three weeks. Normally, it takes eight days to shoot an episode of television on average. These shoots went from 12 to 14 days, and in a couple episodes went three weeks. And he was also asked if he would return to Captain Pike. Now, if you read the article I'm going to be showing you here, it sounds like not that big a deal. But if you look at his facial expressions and his body language to some of the answers of these questions, well, it tells a different story. From TrekMovie.com, Anson Mount open to Pike show, but returning to Star Trek would require creative conversations. Earlier this week, we reported how Anson Mount expressed his gratitude for the support he has been getting from fans and how he was humbled by a popular petition asking for a Captain Pike spinoff on CBS All Access. Those comments on social media were made while Pike was attending Great Philadelphia Comic Con last weekend. It turns out during the panel, Mount spoke more directly about the idea of a Pike series. There is more of Pike's story to tell, but it would take some discussion to make it happen. Thanks to a video report of Mount's G PPC panel from Fandom Spotlight, we could hear more from the actor about his time playing Pike on Star Trek Discovery. The actor confirmed that he had a one-year contract and has no plans to rejoin the cast for the upcoming third season, and he really doesn't look that heartbroken about it either. However, when asked if he felt there was more of Pike's story to tell after the second season finale, Mount confirmed he thought there was, saying, sure. There is plenty to flesh out. I think with a lot of these characters, in terms of the timeline, I think there is plenty of time as well. I know what you're getting at. Now there's hearing me read that, and there's hearing it spoken. So let's take a look. Um, there's, there's plenty to flesh out, I think, with a lot of these characters. Um, I think, and in terms of the timeline, I think there's, there's plenty of time as, as well. So I know what you're getting at. <laughs> when asked poignantly if he would consider returning to the role mount said it would involve a lot of creative conversations well let's go and see this statement from anson mount it would it would involve a lot of creative conversations fair enough it would it would involve a lot of creative conversations fair enough a picture and a facial expression says a thousand words and none of them are written by Alex Kurtzman in this guy's world if he's going to come back to Star Trek Discovery. And I'm sure he had some issues with the director. Of course, it was reported, and I don't know how the hell it got out there, because as Anti-Trekker correctly pointed out, an HR incident happened behind the scenes with Star Trek Discovery, and it was made public. Now, I'm not sure if that's illegal. I don't know about the confidentiality laws with HR in Canada, but it certainly sounds unethical. Now, I want to go back to that video for just one second, because it looks like he mutters something when he removes the microphone. Go ahead and caption this. Would you? It would, it would involve a lot of creative conversations. Fair enough. <laughs> Thanks. For those of you that hasn't seen, like I said before, they, they, these two uh, episodes, I guess the best way I can... And it would be a cold day in hell, fire Kurtzman, I'd rather be on the Orville, I don't know, but it certainly looked like he muttered something. What's there not to like about Anson Mount? And I love the idea of him playing Pike, but after watching almost a full season, he was given nothing to work with. So despite that, he still did a pretty good job, and he remains as professional as possible, considering how horrible this shoot must have been. He talks about that a little bit. Doing, it's not an easy show to shoot, you know. It's it that we that was this season we shot for eight months for fourteen episodes. I don't know if you how much you know about TV production, but that is a snail's pace. That is long. Then the host jumps in and says an average shoot for TNG was an eight-day-per-episode shoot. Be back Our during the day. first episode of this season we shot for a little over three weeks, not including second unit pickups, which went on another week. 
first episode alone? First episode. Three weeks. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. And then after that, we were minimum 10-day episodes and often went up to 12. Right, right, which right. Which is you just don't, yeah. you know, you don't get that. Okay. Usually. It certainly sounds like he's saying this is not what I signed up for. Although he was under contract, I doubt he thought it would take eight months to shoot. And it's not surprising considering that they changed showrunners midway through the season and ran out of money. And it sounds like they ran out of it in the first episode going three weeks with that shoot. And that confirms what my sources have been telling me all along, that they burned through the money in the beginning and that's why they had to do the short treks. So I really wouldn't bother with this petition. It was well-intentioned, but I don't want to see a Captain Pike show on CBS All Access under the current regime. The Picard show is going to be the focus from here on out, and according to my inside sources, two separately have independently told me the same thing, that they are having licensee problems. As reported by Midnight's Edge and Doomcock, they cannot sell these shows due to the aesthetic, and there is a rumor that the licensees have a problem with the storyline of Picard having him possibly head Section 31. And another reason we will not see Anson Mount return as Captain Pike to lead his own series is that CBS All Access, under its current regime, will not have another Star Trek show with a white male lead. They already have that with Picard, and they have made it very clear that diversity in female directors are their priority over storytelling. And I don't know what ground they think they are breaking with Star Trek as far as diversity is concerned. It's always been diverse, but they are breaking new ground in horrible storytelling. And that should be your priority. None of us here are against diversity or female directors. We are just for good storytelling. The final reason we will not get an Anson Mount led Pike show is because the fans want it. And clearly, Alex Kurtzman and CBS All Access don't care what real Star Trek fans want because they don't want you anymore. They want Star Wars fans. They want Marvel Comics fans. They certainly don't want Star Trek fans or they wouldn't have written any of the episodes or plotted any of the seasons like they have. While there are multiple examples, I'll just give you one. The J.J. Abrams Star Trek aesthetic. The one thoroughly loathed by fans that they continue to run with even though it was a complete failure in the films. So much so that they canceled Star Trek 4. But for some reason they think this is still what you want. So go ahead to your doom. Unfortunately they might take the franchise down with them. Hopefully they won't. Hopefully CBS comes to their senses or Viacom takes over and kicks out Alex Kurtzman and brings in real Star Trek people and maybe we can salvage this Picard series. But if this is what we're gonna get, I don't wanna see a Picard series. I don't wanna see a Pike series under CBS. If you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you didn't like what you heard, hey, thanks for listening this long. Please go to nerdrotic.com for my live stream schedule. Everybody have a great day and may the small folks sing songs of your greatness. Nerdorotic.com, please subscribe.